Ladies and gentlemen, the developers of Rise of Kingdoms have officially revealed some of their plans for the future of the VIP system. So today we're going to go over everything and I'm going to give you guys my thoughts and opinions on these new updates that are coming soon to Rise of Kingdoms. But first, what's going on, guys? Cheers. That's right. We got the Mega Well mug two days in a row because again, we're talking about VIP this morning. And this is not what I expected to see when I woke up today. But nonetheless, here we are. Now, I do just want to remind you guys that in my most recent video, I said that I'm going to be doing some secret streams over on Twitch. I did one last night and that VOD is deleted. It is gone. So if you weren't there, then you missed it. It's over. You can't watch it ever again, which means if you don't want to keep missing out on these streams you should probably follow me on twitch down below anyway i woke up this morning i saw a new face to face with the developers about vip level plans had dropped so let's jump right into it let's see what our good friend leo has to say he said governors we've recently received a lot of questions about whether or not we'll be adding new vip levels that's a bit weird because they've already confirmed like they've confirmed in the past few months even in the few weeks that they're adding more vip but I guess people are kind of asking, when is it coming? So we wanted to take this time to share our future development plans. We hope this will answer most of your questions, but as always, please let us know if you have any other inquiries or concerns. Question, will there be new VIP levels? They've already confirmed this, but he says, yes, there will be. We've noticed that more and more governors have been reaching the current VIP level cap of 18. To that end, we'll be adding a new VIP level 19, as well as an even more advanced S VIP level. We plan on launching these features in late October. We are today. I'm recording this October 11th. So we are what two weeks away from VIP 19, something like that. I mean, it can't really be much farther away than that, right? Maybe two and a half weeks at the latest, but before Halloween, we should be seeing at least one of these two updates that being probably VIP 19. Now, this is something that I actually said when I reached VIP 18 officially, I told you guys that I bet you VIP 19 is coming because every time that I reached the cap or got close to the cap of VIP, that seemed to be when they would be adding a new VIP level. And so here we are. We know for sure we are probably two weeks away from VIP 19. I suspect this will probably come in the next update, like 1.0.87, something like that. Anyway, question two, what benefits will the new VIP levels have? And this is like the big question, right? The exclusive buffs we currently have planned for VIP 19 are troop training speed plus 5% and troop attack plus 5%. SVIP will have even more to offer after reaching SVIP, you'll unlock the Supreme Wheel event and an exclusive SVIP shop. You can spend VIP points to spin the Supreme Wheel and earn Supreme Jewels. Supreme Jewels can be used in the SVIP shop to purchase exclusive cosmetic items, including city effects, teleport effects, marching effects, and more. Both VIP 19 and SVIP will come with new daily rewards and new bundles. For more details, visit the in-game rules when the feature comes out. Okay, so this is huge. This is, this is a massive announcement. First of all, I want to address the elephant in the room because at previous in-person events, the developers have suggested quite strongly, as a matter of fact, that they were straying away from adding more combat related pvp buffs to vip in fact you don't have to take my word for it we can literally just watch what they said at the in-person event in frankfurt and i want to give another shout out to frogboy i'm going to link this video down below please go ahead and support frogboy we've referenced this video at least like three times now so please support their channel but let's hear what they actually say regarding the future of vip for vip 19 for VIP system, after multiple discussions, we have decided to update the VIP system soon. It will no longer simply purpose, uh, pursue the boost of the VIP exclusive buffs, but will focus on the player's customized needs. So there you have it. He said specifically, and I'm reading this verbatim, it will no longer simply pursue the boost of the VIP exclusive buffs, but will focus on the player's customized needs. That is exactly what he said. And then he goes on to talk about different marching themes, different uh, city effects and things along those lines, teleport effects and things like that. And so 
when players heard this myself included other content creators as well we said oh okay so the future of vip is in cosmetics and i feel like that's a good thing right like i personally i think that's great i think that vip 18 players already have significant amounts of battle stats and so to go more down the route of having really cool customized you know cosmetics i think that's awesome it's good for the balance of the game but i'm a bit confused now right because and again let me just repeat exactly exactly what he said it will no longer simply pursue the boost of the VIP exclusive buffs but will focus on the players customized needs so I guess what they meant by this is it won't just give you new buffs it will also give you new customized I mean my my initial reaction when I heard their original statement was that we wouldn't be doing any more like specific buffs for VIP maybe that was their plan at the time of recording that or at the time of that event and they simply have changed their mind or maybe they just chose the wrong words but this this addition of more battle stats seems like it goes against directly what they were attempting to achieve uh with the svip system so i feel like their earlier statements at the you know in-person events were a little bit misleading however i will say that five percent troop training speed that's not i mean that's nothing crazy if we're being honest right like if you look at vip 18 it gives you like 10 percent extra troop capacity that's crazy right that's a big buff five percent troop attack I mean troop attack is like the least valuable stat we get it all over the place so at the end of the day the buffs here for vip 19 don't seem like anything crazy um i would rather them not give troop attack personally like i i would just rather there not be battle stats i mean they already strongly implied that they were going to be straying away from that i would love it if they would continue to hold to that claim uh but this is what they currently have planned they could change this again they have until the end of October according to this to make adjustments here so if you want to give them feedback on these changes I recommend that you do so I I'm torn right because like five percent troop attack and five percent troop training speed is literally not good like it's not that is not that much like nobody's going to be rushing to VIP 19 to get five percent attack right like it's just not that big of a deal um but at the end of the day I do feel like this is this kind of goes against what I mean you just watched it right like you heard him say this is not my opinion it sounded like they were they were going all in on cosmetics so that's a bit odd now the svip i'm gonna call this supreme vip because it unlocks supreme the supreme wheel and supreme jewels uh this sounds like it will be similar to the wheel of fortune and instead of spending gems to spin it you spend vip points to spin it and you will i guess only get cosmetic items exclusive cosmetic items okay um so yeah let's go ahead and finish off what they said here before we give our final thoughts what will happen to all the excess vip points i earned from daily logins items after reaching vip 18. uh they all they recorded it right so you actually didn't lose any vip uh if you reached vip 18 every day that you log in you were continuing to get vip it just wasn't showing it in the game because you had already hit the cap but there's no vip that will be lost here okay so just Keep that in mind uh they have kept track of all the vip that you've gained beyond the cap and that will simply be reflected when you reach vip 19. uh this is again not my opinion this is exactly what happened when they added vip 18 players who were already vip 17 when vip 18 arrived they discovered that they already had a bunch of progress towards the next vip level because it was keeping track of that so that will continue here they go on to say sometime after the launch of the new vip levels these excess points will be refunded to you via mail in the form of VIP point items so what this tells me is that SVIP is the final level right because there would be no such thing as excess if they continued to plan more VIP levels then they go on to say if you have any feedback about our plans or anything else please don't hesitate to reach out to us on our official community platforms or via customer support we'll be continuing to collect feedback from our governors and we'll adjust plans accordingly thank you okay so here we have uh the final two VIP levels okay VIP 19 and then v and then SVIP it sounds like SVIP or Supreme VIP will happen after VIP 19 okay because they say new VIP levels plural which means SVIP is not some separate system it is a level in itself of VIP and it says here after reaching SVIP so you do have to reach SVIP which implies that it is probably after VIP 19. um this is I mean look 
the plans that they have for svip totally fine if you're unlocking a bunch of cosmetics i think that's cool the fact that it has a wheel and its own currency feels weird like i don't know why i mean this feels a little bit overly complicated right like they're doing they're they're being real extra here they're going they're going to the extreme when really it didn't have to be that complicated i think other games have vip shops in game and not just the vip store that we already know about but like a way where you can just go and just spend currency like you just spend vip um i don't know why they wouldn't just do that it just seems like they're, they're spending a lot of time and effort developing this um, and you know, putting time and effort into the cosmetics. Great. Love it. Right. And I've already talked about how I actually am very excited for this to be a cosmetic only system, but this just seems overly complicated. And also if SVIP is after VIP 19, so Supreme VIP is effectively VIP 20, then they're building out this super complicated system for like a thousand people. Like how many, like it's going to like man I don't even know if I'm ever going to hit VIP 19 right because if we look in the game well actually thanks to rock.guide the website uh we do have a specific a, a chart here for um all of the first 17 VIP levels and 16 and 17 both cost I apparently 1.5 million VIP points I'm pretty sure VIP 18 costed more I don't know if it was 2 million or 2.5 I don't remember I actually don't see any websites out there that have documented VIP 18's cost which is a bummer so you guys can let me know in the comment section below uh, I'm sure some of you know exactly how many VIP points it costs but regardless my point is that like it's really expensive to reach VIP VIP 18 and so reaching VIP 19 is going to be probably equally as expensive if not more expensive and then we have now beyond that we have supreme VIP which is uh, effectively I can assume VIP 20 it's the final VIP and to that end that's going to cost probably even more and so again for me it seems like they're 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 going through all this effort to build the svip system and like how many people are really ever going to hit that right i mean it's probably less than 5,000 players right in the entire world I mean that's just they'll have the data they'll know but it just seems like you know to build like a wheel and like this currency and all this other, like it just seems like a lot of work for such a small amount of players I feel like it would have made more sense to just add VIP 19 not give them any stats but maybe give them a new exclusive chest and then just give them access to the shop and then they could just spend the excess currency and then they just add stuff to that shop over time that would have been like such a simple thing like it would have literally just been a menu with buttons like you could have just I don't know it feels like that would have been the way to go it would have been simple um there would be no extra buffs there so people would be happy about that and it would be easier to get to and then more people could enjoy it that seems like it would have been a better I mean that's just me right like that's what I I think who knows I mean I'm an idiot right so what do I know but there's that now the other question too is with these two new VIP levels um and that's you know based on how they worded it it sounds like there's VIP 19 and then SVIP so it sounds like there's two new VIP levels that means there's going to be two new daily chests and two new bundles the bundles historically have not like passed um you know anything past Minamoto has not been very good but like in terms of value but the daily chest is definitely that's definitely a concern right because what more could they add right like vip 19 are they going to add like a second crystal key 19 of these and maybe four legendary commander sculptures every day right um i mean possibly and then vip s or svip i should say maybe it's four legendary commander sculptures two crystal keys two purple material choice chests and then 20 of each of these that's my guess also why is there no food I just realized that you don't get food from these why not that's so weird <laughs> okay anyway so even if you look at VIP 19 and say okay well troop attack is not I mean it's unfortunate that they're adding more battle stats but it's nothing crazy it's five percent attack whatever um and five percent troop training speed I mean we already have in the troop training speed uh, where is it we already have 25 percent so this bumps it up to 30 I mean it's really nothing right it's it's really nothing but if the exclusive chest is really good then that will probably impact how quickly uh, I mean look it also is is weird right because like for me as somebody who spends in the game um and I try to invest in commanders a little bit you know intelligently but I have 1500 sculptures I don't know what to do with these right so I can imagine somebody who spends significantly more than me 
probably has a similar amount of sculptures and they have even more commander's expertise so if they give them let's say four sculptures per day you would think okay well that's gonna make it so they could expertise more commanders faster but it's like they're actually already like completely flooded with sculptures so they don't even need that right so I, I don't know I'm not really sure what they can do with the VIP chests to make this enticing so I, I don't know at the end of the day I think that the buffs for VIP 19 so far from what we've heard are relatively weak compared to other high level I mean this is five percent all damage right like these these are crazy buffs you know 10 percent extra troop capacity is insane I know it says 15 but you get five from a previous level so you know compared to those buffs like five percent attack five percent training speed that's all they have planned so far that's nothing crazy but I am a little disappointed that they had some some relatively misleading statements in the past I mean I guess you could look at them in say that they were relatively ambiguous but for me it was pretty clear that they were focusing on cosmetics um and they are just not for vip 19 which is like i don't know what's the what's the point of that right so anyway, anyway guys uh, that's pretty much everything we have vip 19 confirmed we have supreme vip confirmed uh at least one of those two is launching at the end of october so within the next two weeks we should be getting vip 19. i am almost i definitely do not have enough vip to get there so that is unfortunate for me rip bozo but uh it is what it is guys we will see how expensive it is to get there and then yeah i mean honestly i hope that svip isn't that hard to get to because it's just going to be cool to see more cosmetics right and I feel like that's something that that's almost like a missed opportunity I almost wish that they would add progressively cooler cosmetics as you go through the VIP system because then that would give players another incentive to even push through it right like when I was VIP 17 I never really tried to push to VIP 18 because it was just so far away and it, you know it's it is what it is eventually I got there just from playing but like yeah I I don't know um also and I'm just gonna say this now now that now that there's been some ambiguity introduced here they mentioned as we saw that they didn't want to add more battle stats or they weren't planning on it and now they are um you know they have a new wheel coming to SVIP and they're adding cosmetics um let's keep it that way please let's not let's not add Ragnar Prime to that wheel for example right like you know that would be kind of crazy let's 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 put a let's pull pull an emergency break here on on the uh, VIP system all right so yeah that's that SVIP fingers crossed that it stays cosmetic forever VIP 19 will get battle stats you can let me know what you think about that in the comment section below and that's pretty much everything that we have for you today guys like I said let me know what you think about this stuff in the comment section below while you're down there drop a thumbs up on the video it really helps out the channel a ton it helps push this video out into the YouTube algorithm so other Rise of Kingdoms players might see it while you're down there consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time I upload a Rise of Kingdoms video and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been Omniarch I will talk to you guys again soon peace